Thanks for watching this Mapbox how-to video. In this video, I will show you how to create a Choropleth map. Like in this case, we have styled our states by their population density. So let's go. Okay, I'm in my Mapbox Studio account. I'm at mapbox.com studio. And let's just start with a basic style. So we need to upload our GeoJSON file that has the states and their associated population density. And this is what the data looks like. It just has, this is a GeoJSON file, and it has the name of the state and then the population density. And then here's the geometry. These are the latitude and longitude for all the points that make up of the state of Alabama. So let's upload that to Mapbox. Click on Add Layer, Upload. And this is where you can drag and drop any of these file types. We're going to do GeoJSON. And here is our state data. Click Confirm. And once it's finished uploading, we can find our layer here. Here it is here. Click on that. And let's click Style. And we'll do some data-driven styling. All right, so here is our data, and we want to click on Style Across Data Range, and click on Density, this is our population density. And first we want to change the rate of change. Right now it's set to linear. Let's click on Step. This produces a discrete step result by evaluating a piecewise constant function defined by pairs of input and output values. And this just means that the rate of change between our stops that we define will be constant. Click Done. And so the first value is 1.264. That's just based on our data. And we're going to color this a light yellow color. Click Done. And our next step, this is just defined based on our data, will be 50. And we will change that to a slightly darker yellow. Click Done. Our next step will be 200. Slightly darker. And I'll go ahead and add the last two steps. And so there we go. So these steps are just based on what I decided was appropriate for my data. They will be different for you depending on your circumstance. And so let's see, we can style this a little bit further so it looks nicer. Let's change the stroke to white. And you can see that we don't have any state labels here. So let's drag our data layer down below our labels. You can see that we have country and these are cities. I only want to see country and states. So let's click on filter layers and click on label. Click on the first one, hold the shift key and choose the last one and choose hide. We can see the cities go away. Close that. And if you zoom in, we see our state labels and our country labels. So now let's publish. Click Publish, Publish. And this is a URL that we can use to share our map or click on Use. And this is the HTML code to embed your map or you can use any of the third-party links to integrate your map. So there you go. Now you know how to create a Coropleth map. Thanks for using Mapbox and keep building.